five months ago, thanks to these glasses, Emma saw what her mother looked like for the first time. It was really cool. I could see their expressions and the color of their eyes. It was very emotional because it's something I never expected her to say. You know, when she was born, that was one of the things that made me cry was that she'd never be able to look at me. Emma was born with optic nerve hypoplasia. And what they had originally told me was that she would never be able to see anything. This controls the contrast. Around six years and six million dollars of work helped researchers create these state-of-the-art glasses. It has been an extraordinary breakthrough. Giving those with vision loss the gift of sight. Now we're taking the real world and we're grabbing that information and in less than a millisecond we are manipulating every single pixel in the picture. The camera at the front captures images fed to a computer which modifies them based on the type of impairment. As a result of an underdeveloped optic nerve which has trouble sending messages to Emma's brain, everything she sees is a lot smaller. But whenever she puts the glasses on, the image is magnified. Did you brush your teeth? <laughs> can you tell? You can see it, eh? At least half a million Canadians could likely benefit from these glasses currently on the market and available on eSight Eyewear's website. Along with $9,700, the person needs at least some degree of vision for the glasses to work. The number one cause for vision loss in Canada is a disease called age-related macular degeneration. And uh, there's been some very good results with people with that particular disease type as well. The technology will evolve. Meaning perhaps smaller glasses in the future, but for the time being... I love them. The gift of sight is music to her ears. Peter Kim, Global News.